you know, I'm passionate about helping kids really perform well in school, in sports, increase their confidence. How do we do that? Well, it's through a process based on my 30 years of vision therapy practice called See It, Say It, Do It. Let's explore what is that process all about. Well, the first piece of the process is see it. And most people think, oh, see it, I can see just fine. But I'm not only talking about how we see and use our eyes and coordinate and focus. I'm also talking about the internal picturing in our minds. I mean, look at your great athletes. If you watch the Olympic skiers, you watch them and their eyes are closed for a moment just before their, ra their race. And you can see them going through the course. You can actually watch their body move as they make their way down. There's scientific evidence to show that when we mentally practice through imagery, visualization, that we actually perform better. Reading. How many of you are good readers? Love reading. Great. When you read a really good book, do you really see the print and letters on the page? No. What do you notice when you read a good book? Yeah. You see the picture, the movie. You're into the movie. You'd rather read the book than see the movie. Well, when I have a kiddo come in and go, I hate reading, I can bet they're not visualizing the story because letters and print are very, very boring. Okay? See it. I'm going to show you an example. All right. Joey. Joey is seven years old. Joey is very, very bright. Actually, he's been tested, and they call him gifted with learning disabilities. Joey's had three eye muscle surgeries by the age of seven. He wears very thick glasses. He's been told by his ophthalmologist, you know, everything's fine, your eyes look pretty good, nothing else I can do. Joey hates to finish his homework. He doesn't write well, as you can see, when he copied that sentence. Okay? So Joey, here he is, one of the brightest kids in the class, totally underperforming, hating school. Well, here's Joey's writing six months after receiving vision therapy. You can see a tremendous change in his handwriting, his eye-hand coordination. But what's also so significant is what Joey said. Joey says, my writer was crammed in me and squished, and now it's getting bigger. Oh, my. This is not just seeing outside, but look at the difference it makes within. OK? See it. The next step of the process is say it. That's the declaration piece. I'm stupid. I can't do that. Anybody ever hear those comments from your kids, from yourselves? Okay. Those are declarations. Declarations are statements of our thoughts and our beliefs, be it positive or negative. Imagine if you could give your children strategies of very early age to start making very positive, empowering declarations, changing their belief systems, within themselves. That's the importance of the say it piece. The next section of see it, say it, do it is the do it stage. That's about taking action. In the adult world, we call that an action plan. In the kids' world, we call it organization charts. It's not a to-do list. To-do lists don't do very well for kids. It's your list. It's not the child's list. Rather, the do-it stage is about visualizing the end result. If you were to do your homework, how would you look? How would you be? Declare who you are. And it can be anything. I am a great student. I am a super athlete. I am the best parent. Whatever it is, I am. That's the declaration. And then the do-it is step-by-step -step process to get that done. When you do the sit, Say it, do it. The end result is, ta-da, I got it. It's the transformation. It's the steps, taking the next step in the journey of life.